Hello friends, welcome to Global Online University. Friends, in this video, we are going to discuss some important MCQs on Indian economy for your upcoming UGC net economics. In this video, the subunit is national income. You are going to discuss MCQs from the unit national income. And before moving to the questions, I would like to tell you about our crash course for UGC net and other states set in economics 2021. In this crash course, you will get uh, 20 mock tests for paper to economics with PDF solution of all the 20 tests. You will get notes on all the units. So here you will be prepared for 2000 plus MCQs. In this crash course, you will be prepared for more than 2000 MCQs. And the P structure is just uh, 999 rupees, 999 rupees. If you want to join, you can contact this number and friends uh, you, uh, to join this crash course you can download our global online university app from the play store or you, you can also join uh, to directly to the uh, whatsapp group if you want to join you can uh, give a call to this number or you can just send a whatsapp message let us move to the questions here here the first question here here the first question is growth process resulting into broad based benefits and providing equality of opportunity to all is referred as option a pastor growth option b inclusive growth option c exclusive growth option d sustainable growth is yes, growth process resulting into broad based benefits the, the process which is uh, going to benefit to all the people and also providing equal opportunities to the people it is referred as inclusive growth so option b inclusive growth is the right answer let us see what do you mean by inclusive growth inclusive growth it is a concept that advances equal opportunities to all the people and also it will give benefit to all the people of the society and inclu uh, inclusive growth means it is uh, economic growth that creates more employment opportunities and also it will help in reducing the poverty and the main goal of this is uh, have, have providing uh, essential services to all the people and such as education, health can access by all the poor people and it will provide equal opportunity empowering to people through education and skill development. This, these are the goals of inclusive growth. So let us move to the next question. Which of the following plans witnesses the highest growth rate in India? Option A 9th plan, Option B 8th plan, Option C 10th plan, Option D 7th plan. Yes, here the right answer is Option C 10th plan is the correct answer. Yes, because 10th prior plan accelerated in the accelerated to record an average growth of 7.7 percent it is it was uh, highest in other plans and the period of uh, 10th plan is april 1 2002 to march 31st 2007 this is the period of 10th power plan and the in 10th power plan the average growth rate was 7.7 percent it was the highest in any plan Yes, next one is match the following year development and planning poverty in India in measurizing growth, uh, the structure of the corporate private sector. Here, J. Bhagavati, R. K. Hazari, Dandekar, and Rath, Sukhmai Chakravarti. Yes, here the right answer is option, option C is the correct answer. A is to mean development planning is related to R. K. Hazari, then poverty in India is related to Dandekar and Rath committee. Immiserizing growth is related to J. Bhagavati. Then the structure of the corporate private sector is related to Sukhmai Chakravarti. So option C is the correct answer. The next question is, among Indian economists who had done pioneering work in on national income? Option A. P. N. Dar. Option B. Professor Shinoy. Option C. Jagdish Bhagavati. Option D. V. K. R. V. Raw. Yes, as we all know, the India in India uh, in Indian economist in the when it comes to the contribution of national income, V K R V S Raw's estimation was very important. So your option D V K R V Raw is the right answer. The first person to adopt scientific procedure in estimating the national income was Dr. V K R V Raw in the year of 1931. Please remember this also. A question may arise here. The next question is India's wage policy is based on option A cost of living, option B productivity, option C standard of living, option D all of the above. Yes, in India wage rate policy is based on cost of living. So option A cost of living is the correct answer and cost of living means it is the amount of money needed by all the people to sustain a certain level of living 
एंड दिस सर्टेन लेवल ऑफ लिविंग इंक्लूड्स बेसिक एक्सपेंडिचर सच एज हाउसिंग फूड टैक्सेस एंड हेल्थ केयर एंड कॉस्ट ऑफ लिविंग इज ऑपन यूज टू कंपेयर हाउ एक्सपेंसिव इट इज टू इन वन वन कंट वन सिटी टू अनदर सिटी देन कॉस्ट ऑफ लिविंग इज टाइड टू वेजेस हैज अ सैलरी लेवल्स आर मेजर्ड अगेंस्ट एक्सपेंसिस रिक्वायर टू मेनटेन a basic standard of living throughout specific geographical region as in india wage rate is um, based on cost of living cost of living means it is the minimum of amount needed by the people and this minimum amount includes housing house expenditure food tax and health care the next question is one of the problem in calculating the national income in india correctly is option a under employment option b low savings option c non monetized consumption option d inflation yes here the right answer is option c non monetized consumption this is the major problem while calculating the national income because we are unable to measure some econ activities in monetary terms yes the non monetary economy represents work such as household labor care giving or civic activities that does not have a monetary value yes if the work is not having monetary value it is known as the non monetary economy but remains vitally important part of the economy the next question is fresh evaluation of every item of expenditure from the very beginning of each financial year is called option a performance budgeting option b deficit budgeting option c fresh budgeting option d zero based budgeting yes here the right answer is option d zero based budget is the right answer yes here we are we are start starting from scratch this is not zero based budget is not based on previous year budget here we are going to start with the new is yes, zero based budgeting it is a way of budgeting in which the budget is prepared in alignment with the organization strategies and goals and in zero based budget it exercise starts from zero base yes it is not based on the previous year's budget and all the elements of budgeting must be justified for every period of budgeting and it is basically made from scratch this is about zero based budgeting the next question is disposable income does not include option a business transfer payments option b social security benefits option c corporate dividend option d personal income tax yes the disposable income it does not include does not include corporate dividends sorry the uh, disposable income does not include uh, personal income taxes because by while calculating calculating disposable income you are going to less the personal income taxes from uh, personal income so the formula is personal income minus personal income minus personal tax payment so this uh, disposable income it does not in personal income tax so this disposable income does not include personal tax payments so it is the income after uh, it is the income which is uh, with the people after paying the personal taxes they can spend it or save it this disposable income also known as the disposable personal income it is the amount of money that the, an individual or household has to spend or save after paying the income taxes question is human development index hdi is a composite index of option a health literacy and employment option b national income option c size of population uh, sorry uh, option b is national income size of population price level option c national income per capita income per capita consumption option d physical resources monetary resources and population size here the right answer is option a human human development index it includes health literacy and employment because the human development index in it is a statistic composite of uh, life expectancy education and per capita income so option a is the right answer the next question is national product at current prices is higher than national product at constant price during a period of option a rising prices option b falling prices option c stable prices option d changing cost is yes, national product at current price it is higher than the national product at constant price when the prices are increasing so option a rising prices is the right answer
okay friend this is about our today's session if you are if you are preparing for ugc net paper one we are providing 60 mock test with pdf solution and we are providing notes on all the units with video lectures and also thousand expected mcqs pdf only at rupees 9.99 and paper to economics 20 mock tests pdf solution of all the tests notes here also you will be prepared for 2000 plus mcqs and when it comes to commerce 20 mock tests plus pdf solution and also notes with video lectures we are providing you can contact this number to join this course i wish all the best to all thank